Vertical sync is a much more complex signal than horizontal. Vertical sync is composed of two different types of pulses and the frequency of them is double that of horizontal sync. To mark the beginning of every field, there are six pre-equalizer pulses composed of half width negative pulses but at twice the frequency of horizontal sync. The six pre-equalizing pulses occupy the space of three horizontal lines. Next comes the actual vertical sync, or broad pulses as they're called. These again occupy the space of three horizontal lines and are comprised of six pulses. The last of vertical sync is comprised of the six post-equalizing pulses, which are identical to the pre-equalizing pulses. Altogether, there are 18 pulses that make up vertical sync, taking up a total of nine horizontal lines. Vertical sync takes place during the vertical interval, or vertical blanking interval, during which no picture information is transmitted. Because each field carries only half the lines, or 262 and one half lines, this half line offset is what makes possible the interlaced format of NTSC video. Because the starting point for vertical sync in each field is offset from one another by half a line, this causes a delay in the scanning of the CRT screen in the original monitors. This places the next field's lines in between that of the field before, thus producing an interlaced video display. When the second field fills in the lines between these, that creates an interlaced format. Here you can see the second field's first line starting in the middle of the screen. When looking at a monitor with a cross-pulse display, you can observe the vertical interval on a monitor screen. When observing this cross-pulse display, you will see a dark black line extending from the left side of the screen. That is vertical sync. And that larger section in the middle is called the hammerhead. These are the equalizer pulses. In this waveform display, you can see the VBI, or vertical blanking interval. Here is the vertical sync pulses. And here you can see a close-up of the transition from the pre-equalizers to the serrations, or broad pulses. Here are the specifications for the vertical sync pulses. First, the equalizing pulses are 2.2 to 2.4 microseconds across and are spaced at half horizontal duration intervals. Pre and post equalizing pulses are exactly the same in duration and interval. Next, the serration pulses are the positive going pulses. They are followed by the, what's called the broad pulses, which are the negative part. And they too are spaced at half horizontal duration intervals. And lastly, here is the exact trigger point for vertical sync. 